Good afternoon. We're here in Rushwood Close, which is over in the Northlands Wood area of Haywards Heath on the town's southeastern outskirts. And we're here to see number six, which is that detached house in the middle of your screen now. I've just come back because I just wanted to show you, as you look around the cul-de-sac, a lot of these houses have been extended in different ways. Some have built entrance porches on the front. Some have extended out the front and out the back. Um, this house is still very much the original. Um, and as you can see, some of them are wider houses or narrow. So we've got one of the gable ends on which makes it look narrow but it is the same size it's just the other way round but as you can see some of these houses have built a nice extension on and do all sorts of possibilities and the big positive about this one it's got lots of parking so you've got a nice long driveway so you can get at least three cars down that driveway up to the garage and you've got the front garden which offers a bit of potential to extend um, now we sold this house to these people many many years ago um, it's been well looked after but is now at that stage where it could benefit from some general updating but it's all double glazed and you'll see all the woodworks in the UPVC so obviously it's all in you know fine watertight order um, it's just really a case of making a few changes yourself so come and have a look around so first things first entrance hall here with the stairs up to the landing and then through into the living room. So it's a double, it's a double aspect lounge stroke dining room with a big window to the front. And of course, dining area at the back. And what I've seen a couple of people have done is actually put a wall back in across this sitting room and then open the kitchen and the dining room into one big fabulous kitchen, which really is a great bit of space. So a fairly modern kitchen there overlooking the back. That is a very handy big understairs cupboard. As you can see, they've got, a, I think, a tumble dryer under there. So you've got that potential to do it. And you've got a side door with a cat flap out to the driveway that side. I'll take you out in the garden in a moment. But first things first, come and have a look in the uh, upstairs. Now we've got two lovely little dogs, but they're obviously rather excited that there's a stranger walking down the house talking. So I'll take you around in order. Here's the bathroom. So the bathroom's at the back, obviously overlooking the rear garden. And then back bedroom with bunk beds in here. The two lads sharing this room. It's a nice big bedroom and that's overlooking the garden. The other big bonus I'll show you when we get out there is you're backing onto a public footpath. And I'm pretty sure because we've sold several of these houses over the years, they all actually own a share of that. Uh, I think you own across to the middle of the footpath which some solicitors have had a bit of a challenge with, but it can all be dealt with. It's not a problem, you own it, but you don't have to maintain it. On the landing, you've got the airing covered there. And then this is the front bedroom. So a decent sized double, that's overlooking the front of the property. And then the little single bedroom at the front as well. So that's back overlooking the front as well. So nice little house, lovely to be detached. I mean, we've sold lots of semi-detached houses on this side of town. But hence, I mentioned it does need a little bit of updating, but that's why we've priced it sensibly. We sold another house in the cul-de-sac very recently for a lot more than this, uh, which was in better order, but not dramatically better order. So it's priced accordingly. So coming to the garden. Now we're east facing here. So it's a good size. Obviously the garage is alongside with the driveway. I won't open that up, but like every garage, ideal for storage. But you could certainly get three cars. You might even get four small cars down this side. There is that bit of potential. And then the back garden. We've measured the garden. Off the back of the house to the gate is 35 feet and across the width of the back is 24 feet. And then this gap here between the two garages, if you like, it's 17 feet. And it's got lots of potential. So like I say, some houses have put conservatories on, some have extended and various options. And then this is the the back gate onto the bridleway, oh, sorry, onto the footpath. So this footpath, very handy. If you're a keen dog walker, as these people are, it's great. So if you head, if you're looking a uh, northerly direction, that cuts across uh, um, uh, Beach Hill and Marlow Drive uh, and goes through to Lyoth Lane so that you, you can walk through into Linfield and the Snowdrop in pub that way. And if you walk down this way, that comes out on the Lewis Road, almost opposite the Abbots Lee Estate. So if you work to the hospital, that is actually a quicker way of getting there rather than back around the road. And schools wise, you've got Northlands Wood Primary School literally just around the corner. That's a very popular primary school. A lot of people live on this side of town for that. And also those that work at uh, the Princess Royal Hospital. And like I mentioned earlier, you're on the Haywards Heath Linfield borders here. So on the southeastern outskirts of Haywards Heath, you've got a lot of 
um, facilities to be able to walk to. Children from this side of town go to Oak Hall Community College and there's a bus service which runs around Beach Hill linking with the hospital and the town centre. But there you go. That is number six, Rushwood Close. If you'd like to have a look, please give Mansell McTaggart a call on 456 431. Thanks for watching.